Anyone can build this project and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. This project allows us to create noise based on an object's distance. So we can make something as simple as a proximity alarm or something as creative as an air piano. For this project we need an Arduino, a distance sensor, an active buzzer, a passive buzzer, about 20 jumper wires, three 1000 ohm resistors, three different color LEDs, and a breadboard. Start by printing out your hookup diagram. Head to github.com slash TSJ Electronics. Once you're there, scroll down to repositories, click distance sensor project. This page has all of the important information for our project. We have our code, list of materials, hookup diagram, and schematics. Click the page labeled hookup diagram and print. Our hookup diagram shows our breadboard and where every component should be placed. The colored lines indicate every connection we're gonna make with our jumper wire. First, we're gonna place all of our components onto our breadboard, and then we're gonna make the connections with our jumper wires. First, let's place our distance sensor. Look at your hookup diagram and try to place the distance sensor in the same spot on your breadboard as it shows in the hookup diagram. Next is our LEDs. Something important to note about LEDs is that LEDs have polarity. That means that they have a positive and a negative lead. Our LEDs have a long positive leg and a short negative leg. Give the long positive leg a little outward bend so that it's easier to distinguish from the negative leg. Then pop it into our breadboard. Do this for all three of our LEDs and make sure that the positive leg is facing the left hand side of the breadboard. Our last component is our active buzzer. Just like the LED, this component has polarity, meaning it has a positive and negative lead. The positive lead can be identified either by a marking on the top or a longer leg length of the lead. Place your buzzer into your breadboard using the hookup diagram, and then we're done. Oops, almost forgot the resistors. Bend each resistor into a U-shape and place the resistor into the breadboard. Following our hookup diagram, one leg of the resistor should be in the same column as the negative lead of the LED, and the other leg of the resistor should be on the ground plane row, second from the bottom. Okay, our project is half done. Now we just need to make our connections. First, we're gonna start with our power connections. On our Arduino, there are some pins labeled ground and five volts. These are our ground and voltage sources. Connect the 5V pin of our Arduino to the voltage source line of our breadboard. The voltage source line is the entire first row of holes. These are all connected underneath the breadboard and will provide power source for our ultrasonic sensor. After we make the connection, go ahead and put a scribble through the 5V line. This helps me keep track of which connections I have made. Next, take a jumper wire and connect the ground pin of the Arduino to the ground plane of our breadboard. The ground plane is the row directly above the voltage source plane. The ground plane provides a ground return for all of our components. Now let's make the connections for our distance sensor. Even though the hookup diagram shows connections in the front of the component, I recommend putting the wires behind it so that they don't interfere with the sensor. First connect the VCC pin of our sensor to the voltage plane. Then hook up the GND pin of the sensor to our ground plane. Next, using a long wire, connect pin 13 of the Arduino to the trigger pin of our sensor. Last, connect pin 12 of the Arduino to the echo pin. From here, the rest is easy. Connect pin 10 of the Arduino to the positive lead of the green LED. Connect pin 9 to the positive lead of the yellow LED. And connect pin 8 to the positive lead of the red LED. For the last steps, connect pin 11 of the Arduino to the positive pin of our buzzer. And then connect the negative leg of the buzzer to our ground plane. Be careful when hooking up the buzzer. Make sure that your connections are in the same column as the positive and negative leads. If you need to, remove your buzzer and double check to make sure the connections are in the same column. Congratulations, we're done. Now all we need to do is go back to the TSJ Electronics GitHub, click Distance Sensor Project, click Code, Download Zip. Once you've downloaded the zip, there's two files you want to locate. One is the code file where you can click and open it and that contains an Arduino code file with all of our code. The second file is named how to upload Arduino code. Click that file and follow the steps to learn how to upload the code. Now you should have a working distance sensor project. The way this project works is that it senses objects up to one foot away. 
As the object gets closer, the LEDs light up in sequence. First green, then yellow, then red. When the red light is on, a proximity alarm goes off to let you know that an object is too close. To turn this project into the air piano, all you need to do is go to the GitHub and upload the air piano code. No other changes are needed. In the future, I'll do another video explaining how this project works and a software walkthrough on how to edit and customize the code. Thank you for watching.